inside the utricle and saccule are hair cells similar to those in the organ of Corti. The hairs are clustered in the macula, where their processes are embedded in a gelatinous mass and lie under a thin layer of crystals called autolymphs. When the head tilts, gravity moves the crystal mass and distorts the stereocilia of the hair cells. This is how the saccule and utricle provide information about position with respect to gravity. Do you have ears to hear? Jesus did. How did Jesus know the inner workings of the human ear on a microscopic level? Because he came in the flesh. He is the flesh. And in Matthew, he talks about the inner workings of the ear on a microscopic level. When he said, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? This generation, like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, we have piped unto you and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you and ye have not lamented. Auditory signals sent from crystals. The miracle of hearing. And again in Matthew 13, Christ talks about ears to hear when referencing sitting by the seaside and great multitudes gathering together. And they stood on the shore and he talks about a sower of seeds. And he talks about those that were planted in the deepness of earth were the ones that survived. Fields, fields of wheat. And the disciples came and they said to him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said to them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore I speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not neither do they understand and so now you understand that only those who believe and understand that christ was the flesh he is described and imprinted on our very bodies why would god have it any other way the savior of the world the salvation plan imprinted the secrets onto our very flesh so that we could know beyond the shadow of a doubt in the last days who the Son of Man is. And again, later on in the same chapter, then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who has ears to hear? Let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The which, when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. 